Alright, it's, uh, it's 10 o'clock. Eh, enjoy your shop, dude. Glad things are working out for you. Uh... So I haven't found the kid. I have a hard save at the very least, so if anything goes wrong, I can- I come back to here. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's that? That's just- oh, that was just missing the building through the wall, okay. Just gotta keep going, right? We're looking for- we- so there- this- she sent three butchers. I found one, I think? There's still two more butchers and a child somewhere? Somewhere in this area. And also my exhaustion meter's capping out, so that's good. That's always good. At least I'm getting money randomly. Man, how's this guy deal with being, like, right next door to all the bad news? Has he considered moving? The architect of the polyhedron's house was, like, right there. Oh, shit. No, I walked into that. Oh. That's not good. That's not good news. Eh. Hello. That's the same one. So around here. Maybe some of them will be alive? I mean, hopefully some of them are still alive. That's the whole... Otherwise the job didn't really pan out. Right, there's all the walls everywhere. Now I'm kind of thinking that there's so many walls in this city so that they can make some of these plague era. No. No, no, no. Now I'm starting to think that there's so many walls everywhere so they can make these plague environments more cut off. I don't like how he's walking at me. Don't do that. Oh! Help, 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 help. Hey, guy. Help. We'll stop that. Help, help, help. Hey, there's one. Help, 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 help. Stop that. No. God damn. That's not good for me. Mmm. Infection's going up. Exhaustion's going up. Damn it. Uh... Hello, sir. Uh, don't worry, sir. The evil doers are dead. Uh, upon Ogimsky's orders, on resistance. Said this all before. Let's see. And what? He was waiting for him, so he was. Yeah. So what happened to the body? Body was given to the family. They'll bury it. Sounds like the right thing to do. Okay. So I found another body. That's a good sign. Not really, not a good sign. It's a good sign for my ability to get the quest out over with and leave this place before it uh, actually murders me. It's not a great sign for my ability to uh, do the thing that was the point of this, which is get a sample. Because they seem to be dying, and them dying is bad. I didn't. Did I loot the body? I don't think I. I don't think I can loot their bodies. Well, shit. The butchers didn't really have a good time, did they? How am I ever going to find the child? I could loop around the outside of this wall, because there's this back fence. I don't think I've checked the other side of it yet. Maybe I'll have some hope there. Oh, child. Hello? Tot. Named Ouch. Loafer? Uh-huh. That's me. And it, how, how do you know me? Does he have a... Nope. Victoria told me. Capella knows I'm here? Ah. Look. Could you tell her I didn't go anywhere and you just randomly bumped into me here? Or 
Eh? Or, or better still. Not here, but over there, by the river. I will if you leave at once and give me the schmouter. I've been told that this place, that this is the place where this, you know, sort of tongue comes out of the ground. A tongue made of dirty lumps. Like, made of thick air. You're standing in the exact spot, sir. Whoa. Give me the buck. <laughs> this, this line. You nitwit, spare the rod and spoil the child. <laughs> Jesus, give me the box. I'll test it myself. Oh, actually, you seem to be right. I do have a fever. Let me take the schmouter, will you? Are they planning on taking it themselves? Either way, I tell him not to do it. Cut it. Good ki good kinds do not tell lies. Give me the thing and get out of here. Alright, I suppose I'm in no position to argue, but... You will confirm that what really happened here, right? If anyone asks? Give me the box already, will you? I don't like the prospect of you poisoning yourself. Uh, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me? Uh, how sick was that kid? Holy crap. I think I'm gonna have to take it, cause shit. <laughs> My infection just hopped up to half, just like that. Oh boy, I have to do a quick save here in case I die. Uh, Alright, we found two of the butchers and we found the kid. The butchers are dead so far. Am I infected enough that I show signs of infection? Like, are they gonna attack me on site soon? For trying to leave the quarantine zone? Oh, that infection is way up there. I think I'll have to take the schmouter and give that a go. But I don't want to do it now. It's supposed to hurt you, so I'm trying to... I'm hoping to make my way back to, like, a bed and take stuff that restores my health and the schmouter and things like that. <laughs> Here we are looping around in opposite directions. Howdy, y'all. Heavy on guards here. Oh, that's really creepy. That's Those guys are really creepy. I'm just trying to avoid them. That's the boundary of the area. Oh, I don't like that. That doesn't go anywhere. I gotta keep looking. Oh. Oh. That wasn't very nice. Aw. They don't have anything on them. I thought- wasn't I told that I'd be killed if I attack them? But they attack them, like, constantly. I'm not sure if I can make sense of their rules, but that's really been true the whole time, hasn't it? Eh, that's an eye-catching spot. Maybe take a look at that as a landmark. I'm not entirely sure how useful the scope is half the time. Wait, that fog is made of faces. Unnerving. Could you not- could you go away? I think I just have to go around it and hope for the best. Okay. What's that? Ugh. The whole place looks unnerving. The roots and stuff. Also, that guy- that kid was talking about, like, a tongue coming out of the ground. Like, what a freaking idea to suggest. Oh. All three of them, huh? We're doing good here. That villain to chop up a lad like that. Oh, he did it. He did the job he was supposed to do. He must know his trade well. Eh, dressing carcasses and the likes. 
Look, over there. They're carrying the body with all the cuttings. Where to? The cemetery. Where else? To prepare for burial. Why do you ask, sir? It's you who have to report to me, volunteer, not the other way around. Oh. No more dialogue? Shit. Uh... Shit. The body uh, that the butcher had cut open was taken to the cemetery. Ah, oh, great. Uh... Body of the Immortal. Apparently, I have no other choice but to test the Schmouter myself. So the game went to the same conclusion of the fact that they, they, they threw an infection at me there. Oh boy. Let's try to do all the healing when it's time for bed. I need to try to make it at least that far first, okay? So, top objective is to... Because this, this is today's objective and I'm running out of time before the day ends, so I need to hurry. So, the body of the butcher had cut open was taken to the cemetery. So, I'm going to go to the cemetery. And then, uh, as soon as I'm done with the cemetery, I'm going to go visit the one of the... Eh, whoever I can. Probably Georgie or someone. Just try to identify the body of Simon because I don't know what to do with that quest. Then I'll go to sleep and try the Schmouter. Uh... Cemetery. Cemetery. That's 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 the that's from the beginning of the day we're looking for the body. There's so much has happened today. And that's an outdated quest. That's eleven in the morning. I'm looking for like a 20 o'clock objective, basically. That's right before I came here. No, no, no new things. Uh, I'll do a quick save. I think the cemetery might be down here. Grace's Lodge. Where's the cemetery? That's just a park, right? Uh, I feel like I saw a cemetery here, but I don't rem really remember. Or could it be over here? That's the cathedral. Is the cemetery by the cathedral? Shit. I think I'm gonna go for the cathedral. And hope for the best. Shit, shit, shit. Uh... Oh, boy. Uh, no, we're not that... We're not that far off. Uh... T uh... 20 o'clock is 8 o'clock. I mean, the, the, I mean, the conversions aren't that necessary anyway. I like to parse this stuff, though. Oh, God, we're completely caged in here. I've got to loop all the way around. Oh, no, we're not caged in. There's an opening here. We're out, okay. Because I'm thinking, like, I don't think I've seen an explicit cathedral. I associate that one chunk of the map as being kind of like a clearing in some ways. And maybe a cathedral, but I think no. I mean, I mean, maybe a graveyard, but I think I'm just mixing, uh, images. Because I'm thinking of, like, I'm thinking of, like, the big flat area. Going the wrong way. I got distracted by water. I'm thinking of the big flat area by the train tracks and everything, which... And, the, and like, that, there's the place by Aspidy that's, like, fe there's, like, a little corralled off fenced area. Where I could, that I could almost see being, like, a graveyard, but I don't remember specifically seeing graves there. But behind the cathedral, I don't know if I've been behind the cathedral really, but it's the logical place to find a graveyard. So given a lack of objective marker, I think that's where I'm going to try to go. And also I'm going to trade for any bandages I can get, because god damn, I need health. Especially if I'm going to take health damaging medical medicine to not die. How about we do a barter, bro? You fuck. Why do I even bother with y'all? Closer of the two is 
north, kind of. North's probably the one to go with. I have even more reasons to hurry. Not only am I exhausted and a bunch of other bad things are happening, uh, I have to worry about the fact that soon all the stabby people are going to come out and try to stab me. Once the murderers come out, it starts to really suck to be in this city even more than normal. And normal's pretty bad. At least, well, norm my normal's pretty bad. They presumably have nice not plague normals when I'm not here, but that's not my experience. That almost looks like it'd be a graveyard for some reason. Probably the white flowers just representing death. Uh, damn it. I'm used to being happy when I see slouching people. But all these slouching people are just sick. None of them carry what I want them to carry. Quick, maybe not reasonable detour for resources. Whenever I see a bundle of garbage cans, I feel like I'm wasting if I don't check them out. Ooh, gold ring. That was a that was a worthwhile detour. Oh, and then that guy shows up. We got ourselves two bottles and a gold ring, which itself is worth like at least a lockpick. What's up, bro? Please have bandages. Yep. Boop 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 boop. 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 Go, go, go. This game gets intense. It really does share similarities with, uh, with Dead Rising. There's this, this, this need to be always in momentum towards locations at all times. Because the clock is ticking. And you have multiple things to juggle with said ticking clock. Although in that game it was more like you were, ju you were juggling saving people and pathing to save people, and killing bosses, and doing main quests in like a rapid-fire action game. In a lot of ways, I found Dead Rising to be satisfying and cool in similar ways to why I like Dynasty Warriors games, which is that you're generally rushing to do a bunch of different objectives on a chaotic battlefield, and just trying to get them all done as fast as possible and stuff like that. Uh, and Samurai Warriors 4 in particular really embraced that idea by turning that chaotic, mindless button masher that, that, like, like, because Dynasty Wars is famous for being a mindless button masher, and that, and a lot of that, it's kind of true, especially if you don't play on hard difficulties. But Samurai Wars 4 embraced its strength, which was to have, like, 50 objectives happening every mission, and a lot of them were time-sensitive, so you were, you were, you were, on, you were constantly en route from place to place, like you are in this game, and, uh, like you are in, in Dead Rising. And it made it even cooler because you could, if you did, were if you were not playing co-op with a friend, you could play co-op with, with yourself. And if you played co-op with yourself, that meant that you had two characters, and you could tell whenever we were not controlling a character, you could tell them where to go on the map, and you could tell them preemptively to go to places you would need them to be later, and and then you could switch to them on the fly, and then that meant that between you had two characters, so you could, it's it'd be like as if I was playing as the uh, as, as the as the Bachelor and Harrowspex right now at the same time, and was telling the Harrowspex to go places, and then switching to his perspective. There's not a graveyard back here, is there? Fuckity fuck fuck. Where is the cemetery? Is that a cemetery? No. It's just more flowers. This isn't where the cemetery is? Was I right the first time? Uh, the day's not over yet. Shit. I may want to pause the game and systematically check every single waypoint on the entire map to see if any of them are what I'm hoping they are. And also my exhaustion's capping out, which can't be good. Is that gonna do bad things to me? Do you pass out on your feet when it runs out? At least my favorite theme here is here to that make me happy, except it's really the the endless percussion adds to the tension of all the rushing you're doing. That's the one that ha that's marked for the quest, so I probably want to go to this one actually. 
Yeah, I, th I think he's the one that sent me on the mission. Is he gonna react to me being infected? Yes? Every hour brings us more trouble. Yes. Great. Shit. Alright, we'll try Georgie. Surely somebody should, like, identify this body, right? It has... Not o it's not an over- the quest isn't over. Alright, we'll try Georgie. Georgi? Georg? Jurgen? <laughs> Olgimski has put a bounty on any runaway butcher. What is the old fox trying to hide? None of these are quite one of uh, I have a favor to ask of you, Judge. I am indebted to you, dear doctor. Speak. I will be happy to grant any request that is within my power to fulfill. It has to do with Isidore Burak's son. Yes. I know the man. If only by what the others have to say about him. Regrettably, I have yet to meet him personally. He was one of the main suspects in Simon's murder. He also hasn't cleared himself. Not to my judgment, anyway of the charge of murdering his own father. Now he is the main suspect in the theft of my brother's body. I hope you are not going to solicit forgiveness on his behalf. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Ahem, this is one of the few requests I am not prepared to meet. That is to say, I wouldn't be, if anyone other than you were asking. But I believe without a shadow of a doubt that you were acting in good faith and with the most noble intentions. Vlad Olgimsky vouches for his honesty and is prepared to be a witness for him on all charges you brought against him. So it was Olgimsky who asked you to intervene. Don't trust him, doctor. Don't trust him. Olgimsky has many qualities worthy of respect, but being honorable is not one of them. His honor ends where his avarice begins. If he is prepared to vouch for something, it is clear indication that he is going to profit from it. I'll keep that in mind, judge. How do I do this goddamn quest with the body? More foolish and more wise. I found the body snatchers there. Oh, that's what it was. That's not the butchers I, that I'm dealing with right now. It's the ones that I killed in the house. I found the body snatchers. They were runaway butchers. Did you find the body? A body, dissected and disfigured. However, I find it hard to believe that it once belonged to your brother. I'll show you where the... I'll show you the building where I found it. I will send my people there at once. You have my gratitude. Just don't bring the body directly to the crucible, and don't forget to quarantine your people before they return to their everyday duties. 4,000. That's kind of something, I guess. Oh, my health's going down. It could, probably because of my exhaustion coupled with my infection, I would guess. That's not a good spot to be in, and I have one hour until the day ends, basically. That bodes exceptionally poorly for me. Oh, Where would the cemetery be? I'm thinking like fenced off areas or something? It's mean of the game to not give me a waypoint because there's a lot of city to navigate and they're not telling me where the cemetery is when they tell me to go to the cemetery. Body of the Immortals done. I've done one quest now today. Great. Uh... It just says the cemetery. It's the main quest, too. It's not even a side quest. It's the main quest. I have to get to the cemetery. God damn, man. Uh, glad to know that that's what I have to do is turn in with him. I may have to go back to my previous save, though, and take the correct path to wherever the cemetery is. And I might have to look up where the cemetery is. Because I don't know how to find it. 
What is this building normal? It's just Aspidy's Hospice. It might be over here. I have the feeling that it's over there. But it doesn't... I don't remember seeing it necessarily. The lack of hand showing me where to go is rough. You would kind of expect a cemetery to be by the cathedral, right? I don't think that's completely crazy. The mad dash begins anew. So I looked it up and it's apparently by Grace's Lodge. So I was right the first time and redirecting towards the cathedral was a mistake. At least I was able to figure out how to finish the other quest though. I just need to go do it again now, but it's fine because when I get there I'll just rapidly click through the dialogue we've already seen. That's not a big deal. Opening in that gate. I think I can work with that. I'm still trying to rush everywhere due to time constraints. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Constant panic mode. Shit. Uh, turning left. I know that Aspidy's house has an, has an opening in the fence. There it is. The number of fences really mess with your ability to navigate these areas. I think that's ultimately why they exist, though, is that these fences aren't just to make the navigation complicated, but they help the qu the quarantines happen. Because if each if any given zone becomes quarantined, the fences make it possible to close it off properly for the most part, and make it not a totally insane thing to try to protect. Running, 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 ah, uh, two hours. Graveyard, yep, oop. It's probably those guys, sure. Hey guys, uh, no, don't burn the body. Uh, don't do that. Specifically, don't do that. Uh, was this body brought from an infected district? Yes, preparing it for burial. What's in it for you? No questions. Did Governor Sabarov forget to inform you of my mandate? Governor Sabarov? Gov Governor Sabarov is not my commanding officer. I'm a volunteer. Do you get that, Doctor, or do I need to spell it out for you? Perhaps we, should make we could strike a bargain. Ow! Why? Why did you immediately attack me? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What are these goddamn alien people I'm supposed to be inhabiting this city with? What was- what the fuck? What the fuck? That went from zero to fight. Immediately. What the fuck? Why'd that happen? That's just rude. Very rude. I'm gonna make a new save. Just in case. Can I inspect the body directly? Shit. Alright. Was it from the inspected district? I, I need it for my work. Ain't that right? Well, doctor's work is vital work, alright? It's not like you're body snatching for fun, right? You're working in the interests of the public. Spot on. 10,000 money is yours. Are you out of your mind? Not gonna offer twice. You will give it to me since that is my order. By the name of Governor Savarov. Governor Savarov. Oh, shit. Know your place. Same thing happens. He gets a free goddamn punch off, doesn't he? Oh, shit. Goddamn, man. What? What the fucking... What? I? No, I can't stand it much longer. Keep your voice down and listen carefully. How the fuck did I get here? And why did it only happen this time? I've told these people you're not the person who ordered the butchers to cut corpses. Thank you, I appreciate that. I had to concede that there's an unknown ripper on the loose, twice a criminal. 
for daring to raise his knife against the in inviolability of a body, and for defiling the sacred peace of the dead. I told them you weren't the real Ripper, and we've started a manhunt for the real one. Anything but this. How am I supposed to look in the eyes of those whom I promised non-interference? No names were named. I don't know who you're referring to, nor do I want to know, you hear me? I want nothing to do with cases about defiling the dead. My public line is, whoever is caught dissecting a body will be summarily executed and made an, ex an example of. Be more careful from now on. What am I to do now? The patrolmen were keeping watch at the cemetery. Right now there's no one there. I will task them with blockading an infected district. And I will dispatch the next shift of, of guards to the cemetery in ten minutes. Do you hear that? Ten minutes after you leave. You have a ten minute head start. And do what you need to do. Jesus. Ten minutes. These patrolmen will be sent to their deaths simply to, in order to provide cover for my actions? That must, that must not happen. As you wish, but remember if you leave your work undone, someone else will have to do it and pay their life for it. Shit. I do have to do the job. Alright, I've changed my mind. Hold back the duty detail for as long as you can. It's a false equivalency though. You're just- all you're doing is saying you're sending- you're sending them away, and somehow sending them away automatically equates to they have to be sent to their deaths? Fuck, I have to be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, no big deal. It's easy. Fuck. My health is so low, and so is my- and my health exhaustion is high. My infection is high. My reputation is at 50%. Fuck me. Be there in ten minutes. Shit. How did he? How did I get there? Uh, shit. All right. So it's twenty-two oh three. Uh huh. -huh. Technically, I still have time. If I do this, I can get back to Georgie, and then that's these two quests down. Then I go to bed with every medication I can do to try to fix my current life situation, basically, and infection and everything, which I don't even know if that'll work, but we'll see what state it ends up in. Uh, this way, between these houses. Is- I ju- I honestly thought it took longer than that to get across town. Is- it's, it's hard, I can't see the clock in, in real time, and I also didn't really check what time it was at the exact moment he said I had ten minutes. I'm kind of just going for it and hoping for the best. Shit, I actually don't know where I have to go when I do this quest. I was just thinking about doing this, then getting to Georgie and going to sleep. I probably have to go somewhere when I do this quest, and I don't know where. Oh, that was a weird seam in the floor. Let's see. If I stare directly at my health, can I see it go down in real time? I'm not quite sure. It's slow enough that it's hard to detect with the human eye, at least. But damn. Uh, please don't be there. I just need the sample off the body. This plague would be hard enough to fight without the 50 contrivances of annoying culture and whatnot that all get in my way too. The list is bizarre. Come on. Got the blood sample. Okay, 